everybody, I am Gracie and this is a video you guys have been looking forward to for weeks and I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to sit down and kind of film it and get it up. This is going to be a very casual video. Just pretend like I'm talking to you on FaceTime. It's going to be great. Anyway, it is summertime and I'm trying to, you know, participate in that hot girl summer just a little bit. I'm going to be traveling around in, in a bikini for like the next month and a half so like who doesn't want to look good and feel good about themselves being said i no longer had a gym for the summer i quit orange theory i canceled my membership it went until may 15th um from that month april 15th to may 15th i think i went like six times a waste of 150 dollars but i only went during finals week which was when i needed the stress reliever i've been going to orange theory for almost two years i mean if you take out when i studied abroad it was basically a year and a half worth of time that i've been going to orange theory i loved it for a very very long time i loved it so quick understanding of orange theory 60 minute classes it's 150 dollars a month to go unlimited and that was on a special deal for me i know places that go up to like 180 dollars. i think it depends on your location the ones here in palm beach i think are 170 a month for unlimited and then there's packages where i think it's like 89.99 somewhere around there for like eight times a month which to me doesn't really make sense because i went every single day so the 150 dollars is what i was spending at school because of covid they started doing these 3g classes which means the class was split in three equal parts across a rower the weight floor and the treadmill other classes before covid were like 2g classes where you'd spend half the time on the treadmill and the other half between the rower and the weight floor but to increase class sizes because they were socially distancing they did those 3g classes for those of you who followed along for any little bit of time you know that i'd go to orange theory on a daily basis back up in tuscaloosa at school five or six times a week like i was committed to orange theory i loved like the workout high that you get afterward hated actually being there kind of hated going but if you missed it was 12 dollars. so i got my butt to the gym every single day and worked out for a while this was great i had you know had that a little bit of an abroad bod and then the quarantine bod and i was just ready to get back into it especially this last year before then i had gone from like september to january was kind of my window my sophomore year of college and then after I came back from semester at sea. I started kind of going in June and July because I live in Florida and it was opened up and then full time starting August all the way until May. So for those of you who are new here, there's my little sort of backstory on Orange Theory and how long I've been going. I've always been a very like fit athletic person, but you know, starting in college, I was kind of making some unhealthy eating decisions and things like that, where I was like, man, I kind of need to get in a gym and work out. And I really did not work out like at all my freshman year, even though I literally lived right next to a rec center. But then in the beginning of my sophomore year, my sorority did a sisterhood event at Orange Theory where we kind of got to sign up and go. And I was like, oh, my friends are going, like I'll go. I was like instantly in love. And they said, hey, you can come back for another free class because technically your sorority paid for this one and you, we do your first class for free. It's like, cool. I was there like two days later working out again. I was like, man, I love this. And then two days after that, I ended up signing up and I just kept going. So I was like, I actually go, I get myself in the workout class. Like I'm not one to really discipline myself enough to know even what I'm doing in a gym. That's kind of what I really loved about Orange Theory was I had all these different options and different things to do. And I should mention the workout is different every single day. You never go in and have like the same workout twice. There's different styles of workouts, like an endurance day, a strength day, those kinds of things where the types of workouts be the same but never the same moves on the floor the same like inclined speeds on the tread so it was always very interesting which i really enjoyed but i think what really made me decide to quit is because i was plateauing like i wasn't really seeing any different changes in my physical body which is not really why i was doing it let it be known it was for my mental headspace but to be paying 150 dollars for my mental headspace every month i was like can I do this in a more cost efficient way? Because I'm not really seeing any changes to my body. I'm loving the workouts, I'm loving that I can run faster and do all these different things, but is there a better way for me? And I think I decided, I was like, I've been seeing all these TikToks about these people who are weightlifting and loving it and you don't have to run so much and do so much cardio, which apparently like it's not very good for you for losing weight. And I just really wanted to tone up a little more. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna try doing this on my own and doing all these own things. So it's not necessarily that I had like a huge falling out with Orange Theory. I just said, I don't think $150 of my own money is worth it anymore. 
It was at the time, to me that was an expense. It came out of my own account every month. But then I decided, you know what? I don't think that this is worth it for me anymore and I'm gonna quit. So like there's the tea is really, I didn't see any changes. And the more I've been researching things about working out and things that are good for your body, it really has shown that like that much cardio isn't that effective. It's effective up until a certain point. I've seen people with great results from Orange Theory, but I think for me and my body type, I was like, I loved the strength aspect of Orange Theory and sometimes the running, but I really loved the weight floor. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna quit and try this whole weight floor thing on my own. So do I think that you should sign up for Orange Theory? Do you think it's worth your money? That's something that you have to ask yourself what you wanna do, what kind of workouts you wanna do. Like I said, it worked with me up until like a certain point where I was like, I don't really see any difference. I do think that I toned quite a bit using Orange Theory for that first little bit, but I really think after a couple months, I was like, I've probably been throwing money away since like November, probably November of 2020, where I really just did not see any difference anymore. I didn't really work out in December because I didn't go to the Orange Theory that's here in Palm Beach. And then in January, I noticed some more um, toning because of Christmas break. But then after that, like pretty much after just January, I was like, I, I don't see any improvements. And then so February, March, April, I was spending all this money and still going, still using it. So it's not like I was just throwing it away, but not feeling my absolute best from what I should be doing. I'm like, I'm doing all this work in these workouts and I'm not seeing anything from it. And I really got frustrated with myself and I was like, you know what, I'm quitting. Nothing against them. I think Orange Theory Tuscaloosa is the best Orange Theory that I've been to. And I've been to a couple. I just love the vibe there. I love the coaches there. I think that's one thing that I really was like, okay, I'm quitting for the summer because I'm not a big fan of the vibe of the one down here. I don't know, it's not the same. And of course I'm going away for like a month and a half. So it's like, that doesn't really make sense to not just quit now and try and do something different. And I've liked what I've been doing. I really have been liking it. And I don't feel so time constrained as much as with Orange Theory, I would go to the classes at the certain times. Cause again, you pay $12 if you don't show up or if you cancel within eight hours of the class. So working out, I've just had to learn more discipline. They're like, hey, you gotta go to the gym. Also times I'm like, I don't feel like going. I'm gonna listen to my body and I'm gonna rest today and not go to the gym. And that's totally okay too. So I've been enjoying the benefits of not really being like tied to something. That's the Orange Theory Tea. This is why I think I've been putting this video off. So I'm like, oh, I don't wanna waste people's time because I feel like it's not that interesting why I quit. I just was not seeing the results I wanted to see. Plus I just thought I was spending too much money for it. So I definitely think it's something that you can try if that's what you're into. If not, I encourage you to like look up some videos on YouTube. I am by no means a fitness guru. I rely on a lot of other actual like personal trainers and fitness people and follow their workouts or get an idea of what I wanna do and just kind of go do it. Anywho, I hope you guys are all having a good Monday or whatever day that you are watching this video. That's the tea. Not much going on, but I did want to let, let you know because I keep forgetting to mention it in vlogs. And then I was like, okay, I don't really have anything to post on Monday because I've got some good content for Wednesday and Friday, but I'm going to post this and so that you guys can know what the tea is so everyone can stop asking me because it's it's all on me. Trust me, I mentioned it weeks ago. I was like, ooh, there's tea. I was kind of kidding. And they never mentioned it again. So there it is. I love you all so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.